Sorry, I was trying to call on a listing. What are three things everyone forgets before listing their home? Dave forgets about these three things before listing his home. Oh, Dave, classic. Uh, look, here's the thing, Dave. Uh, there's a lot of things people forget before listing their home, and that's why you're gonna hire me. These three things are things that I wish that I had known or somebody had told me before I sat down with my realtor back when I bought my first home. Uh, so let's go talk about it and figure out what those are. Number one, you wanna think about what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna leave with the house. So there's some things in the contract that state what stays and what doesn't. So if there's something that you wanna take with you, your valuables, something that is important to you, like drapes, for instance, you wanna let me know those things on the front end so that we can go ahead and make sure everything's in place to where you can take those with you when you go. Otherwise, they're gonna stay with the house and you're never gonna see them again. So if you love the drapes, make sure it's in the contract. If you love your fridge, Make sure you let me know so I can put that in there too. Hey! Secondly, we wanna talk about what you wanna to do to get your house ready for photo and showing ready. What's the difference in those two? Not much. But one thing you could do is go back to what we talked about in a previous episode about staging. Uh, not necessarily your entire house, but there are certain things that you can do. You can go to a place like Linen and Rust on the square where we are right now. And you can talk about uh, putting pillows in certain places on your couch or just accents. Remember the three things that we talked about in the staging episode. Um, this is a great place to go to get those things. Now, whether it's staging or whether it's carpet cleaning or even trimming the bushes out front, all of these things are things that you should do. A lot of people ask me, should I mulch my yard? Uh, not necessarily mulch, honestly. Pine straw is another one that's really easy and really cheap to do and quick, and it looks great in photos. When you talk about showings, you gotta think about how you're presenting your house. So when somebody comes in, you want them to be able to see your house as uh, you would see it on HGTV if you can, or just keep it as clean as possible uh, for those showings. All right, thirdly, we wanna talk about your documents. What kind of documents are those? There's a lot of documents that are in place that have to do with the actual contract, but we're not even going into that. We're going into service documents of your unit, whether it's an HVAC unit, uh, documents on your warranties, whether you got a new roof, how old is your roof, how old is your HVAC? These are all questions that people are gonna ask. So if you have those service records in hand, I need those. Uh, that way I can go ahead and present those on the front end. So the more prepared you are in the front end, the better it is for the end. great about a library there's lots to learn here just like we learned on our episode things that you need to understand and know thank you so much for joining us for another episode i hope you learned a lot i feel like there was a lot of things that we pulled from this episode uh, i can't wait to see you on the next one this is derek trainer with compass real estate thank you so much for joining me again i gotta be quiet so i'll see you guys next time i just want to help you make the best decision with one of the biggest investments of your entire life we'll see you next time I'm gonna get back to some light reading.
uh, and knock down probably three to four things that everybody forgets. That's actually Jack Gum, and I <laughs> no, just not four, definitely that, three. no, it's definitely three. <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs>